Well, what's up guys? Thank you for clicking on the video. So it is it is Monday. It is the following day here. Uh, man, the car is getting so much sun. I think it uh, doesn't know what to do because it's always in a garage. But uh, as you know, I was running the Cyber Monday sale and it is Monday today. So, ah! <laughs> oh, oh, that's scary. I'm doing this for the channel. Yeah, there's a Cyber Monday sale on these and I'm, I'm wrapping it up. This is the final supply and so the, this video I'm talking about the bezels. I have to have bezels because out here seeing down in the car I'm always in the shade and so I you know it's always been an intention to do bezels. So I'm going to talk about the approach to the bezels here in the video and another project that I'm working on. So stick around you're watching Night Drive TV. I always wanted to build fast cars, so self-taught I started with engine swaps, composites in my apartment to multiple shops, tuning, fabrication, and more. Ten years later, the big time. SEMA, Speed TV, I climbed from nothing, but I lost it all. This is my new ride, Night Drive TV. the problem yeah so so yeah I was getting detonation yesterday and uh, definitely was getting some blow by so not good my uh, low oil warning came on so I uh, definitely had a bit of an issue there um, as I got up in elevation uh, just lower uh, air density and oxygen content seemed like it it smoothed out a bit I was definitely probably losing a lot of timing but I was getting some blow by and uh, apparently lost some oil so uh yeah you know when you get to that detonation you're, you're having a lot more strain on ring lands the rings themselves so you're pressurizing the crankcase a bit so that's gonna cause a bit of blow by i didn't data log it i didn't have that with me i'd thought about bringing it but definitely uh in an upcoming video we're gonna do some tuning changes and i talked talked about a pops and bangs video a while back so i'm gonna kind of incorporate that um just just to play with it just to see um, but mainly to kind of retune this for uh, 91 octane. I don't know. I'm thinking about it. Throw me a comment if uh, I don't know what you think. But uh, yeah, so check this out. Yeah, so people, you know, the bezels are. I uh, have always. Stop staring. I can't. Oh, this girl. She's always looking at me while I'm trying to shoot the video. I'm not look this way so I can keep my eye on you over here. Now the sun's in the camera. I can't shoot that way. All right, so the bezels were always uh, playing and. Uh, they're close. I've been the reason I've been waiting on the bezels is for two reasons. One, uh, as everybody, well, the people who have followed along know, I made this kit very modular, and the reason I did that is because the way it looks right now, it was kind of the foundation design. But I have other lights that I'm going to incorporate, so you can kind of change the appearance and the look. The potential is is that you could buy of upcoming sets pre-wired and basically you would get three and three and I'd ship those to you and you could just switch them out but the bracket system the stops everything would stay so it's like you could have add-ons and so you could change appearances and so in that if I made a bezel committed to just this design I thought if people have multiple designs I want to make the bezel kind of modular too so I've been working on a modular bezel that's made of plastic and then, and then potentially once that foundation layer is laid and everybody has that, that opening sealed up, which is a priority, and I don't want it to cost a lot, I want to get that done. And then if there is a particular demand, we'll, we'll work on carbon composite ones and things like that. But there's a little detail that I'm working on with the bezel that I really want to have. And so that's kind of where I'm at right now. So it's coming. You will see it before the end of the year. Yes, you will. So I have to switch arms. I wore out. Uh, with a Cyber Monday sale, 12-week uh, delivery time. All those kits ordered today will be delivered in February. Basically, that's what's coming ahead. But full function kit, guys, last day to get them at pre-buy first round pricing. And I totally appreciate everybody. This is a short little vacay for me, and I needed it, I, I got to tell you. But I'm still working. I'm still making videos. So. Yeah, so we are at the spot, Neptune's Net. Uh, if you check out this scene right here in Fast and the Furious, and I'll show it to you right here. Yeah, this was the spot, so uh, it's pretty cool to get my car in front of the Neptune's Net uh, place. You know, just a little little flavor, little, uh, I don't know. Yeah, so I wouldn't call the spot uh, iconic or anything. A lot of people treat the movie as iconic. 
I think it created a big market and uh, in, in the initial sense, I was already building imports back then, but it made uh, a lot more business for me. So for me, it's the, the movie wasn't as, as significant to my own uh, automotive in, involvement. I was into cars long before the movie, so I call myself pre-movie, like OG in the import side of things. But uh, obviously the reason these kits are made and the reason I build my Corvette and the things that I do is because of kind of that import culture I was part of and it influenced a lot of my styling and things like that. So pretty cool. We're going to jump inside Let me get some shrimp or something like that. And it's pretty cool to be here. So check it out. If I have to. <laughs> yeah, this place is pretty cool. We have outdoor indoor seating. Pretty cool. Chowder. She wants me to try chowder. This is very pretty. It's so good. Oh man! That's so good. Oh my god. That's really good. Ryan, don't lose that cool of yours. That's your meal ticket. My meal ticket. Well, I can't pay for my own shrimp. You think I can't pay for my own crab cake? Well, that was actually pretty good. We got ceviche from the one side. It's like a steam side and a fried side. So we got ceviche on one side. We got some uh, fried shrimp and things. We didn't eat all of it, obviously. I don't really like fried food that much, despite how I look. You would think I'm a big fried, <laughs> fried eater, but I'm we not. Avoid fried yeah. So now we're taking a ride down the PCH, and we did this in the BMW and a little bit in the van, but. You know, for me, this car, this car came from Connecticut when I bought it. And I bought it in Pittsburgh, and then obviously we've we went down to South Carolina. We were in Georgia, so now it's driving the coastline, and that that satisfies me. So, That's a big deal. Yeah, because I wanted to drive this road in it in, in something, but uh, you know, it's really nice to have this car here. And strangely, this this steering wheel that's in this car actually goes back to other cars I've owned. Uh, quite some time back and I even you know online race with the steering well I'm weird like that I, I like all the little <laughs> connections so All right, guys, so that concludes the video. Uh, we're staying one more night, but I want to let everybody know, in case you're curious, uh, the kits have been getting built since I've been gone. Uh, lots of relays also getting built, so like 100 kits are going to be shipped as soon as we get back. Um, so constantly flowing. Just to be clear, um, all the kits ordered up until uh, the end of August are going to be shipped by the end of the year, uh, barring any unforeseen issues, but that's definitely how it looks right now. Obviously, there's only four weeks left. Uh, September and October will ship in January, and so any uh, Cyber Monday orders will ship in February. That's kind of how things are stacking out right now. So I did have a few messages from people from the prior video, one guy from Sweden, one guy from uh, Australia asking me about shipping. If you're watching the video, uh, I have to change the shipping settings. So I've decided for a couple reasons to extend the Cyber Monday deal into Tuesday. And I'm probably gonna shut it off sometime when I leave. We check out of here at like 10 a.m. and I don't wanna let it run um, because I don't wanna go over my supply. And I still have a few, I have enough left. Um, it, it hasn't, uh, you know, some people bought kits, but I still have a little bit left. Um, so we're good. And so I'm going to leave it open for a little bit longer so that those people with the shipping issues can still get in. But after that, it's over. So I appreciate you watching the video, guys. I always appreciate everybody that supports the channel. Throw me a like if you can. Um, we're working on lots of things. The bezels are definitely coming, and that's going to be exciting, uh, as well as some other projects, tail lights, maybe. I don't want to say too much, but, you know, corners, who knows? Carbon stuff, I I'm working on a lot of things. So. That's it. We're going to kind of relax. I'm going to upload uh, this video and uh, kind of chill till morning and then head back. So I appreciate it, guys, and I'll catch you on the next one. Yeah.